Hello, welcome to the course of Cello V2X. So today we are going to discuss about the 5G V2X architecture. So in this chapter, we are dealing with the different concepts related to 5G V2X architectures. Like we will discuss about its architecture, its features and the components that are we using in the 5G V2X. So starting with the very first, so this is the architectures for the 5G V2X. So it consists of a cellular centimeter wave that is denoted by this yellow color. So this macro cell is defining the cellular centimeter wave that is radiated by this antenna. Whereas the 802.11 PDSRC service is provided by this antenna in this particular in small in this small cell, and then cellular millimeter waves is provided by this infrastructure that is this street light or sorry this traffic light provide the cellular millimeter wave to this particular vehicle then cellular centimeter wave is provided by this antenna and this small cell and last one is the vvlc this waves are provided by the street light here in this area so as from here we conclude that cellular cm centimeter waves it will will denote a large micro cell whereas these technology will make a small cells and the large micro cell whereas this antenna is provided a uh, cloud uh, cloud connectivity with the traffic management system vehicle information system and the tele driving center so let's discuss about the features of this so the 5g network architecture features are it it is configurable to the end-to-end -end connectivity so it is providing the end-to-end -end connectivity by using the variety of technologies like a 2.11 p and cellular v2x then next is modular specialized network functions for the services and the another feature is flexible subscription models dynamic control of the network and user plane have more functionality at the edge so these are the features that are related to the 5g network architecture the next one is the component of the 5G network that provide the cellular V2X, uh, sorry, vehicle to everything services are cellular centimeter wave, millimeter communication for V2X, IEEE 802.11P and vehicular visible light communication. So to discuss about this, let's start with cellular centimeter wave. So here LT V2X is finalized as the first set of cellular standard by third generation partnership project for vehicle to everything communication. So future 5G system will provide support of V2X communication through three different forms, cellular V2X, cellular assisted V2X and cellular unassisted V2X. So here in this cellular V2X, it is also known as classic cellular uplink and downlink communication. So in this, a vehicle equipped with the, a with the UE is, commu is communicating with a base station to reach either an edge server, backend server or to connect it to the another vehicle. Whereas in cellular assisted vehicle to vehicle, it is suitable for extremely low latency and high reliability vehicle to vehicle communication. So in this, a base station coordinates the communication between vehicle by providing control information including link scheduling and resource allocation instruction to the vehicle. Or the man it will also manage the priority in case of different vehicle to vehicle application competing for resources. In a, the, the another one is cellular unassisted vehicle to vehicle so it is suitable for information exchange in out of coverage area so cellular unassisted vehicle to vehicle in this mode the vehicle communicate directly without assistance from the base station and it is similar to the IEEE 802.11p as it doesn't use a base station so cellular unassisted v2x has some additional features compared to IEEE 802.11p the first one is it can reuse part of the cellular frequency band in area without or with partial cellular coverage for communication between the vehicles whereas the second one is the out of coverage users can remain time synchronized to the cellular network in order to communicate with the in coverage users so this will enable interference free multi-link connectivity and quick reattachment to a base station if if they comes in a coverage so these are the two services provided by the uh, additional services uh, as compared to the IEEE 02.11p provided in the cellular unassisted vehicle to vehicle communication. The another one is millimeter communication for V2X. 
So here the millimeter waves are used to increase network capacity through reducing cell size and large spectrum. So the role of millimeter waves in V2X is it provides short-lived high data rate connection well established between vehicle and nearby small cells to exchange delay in sensitive data for the vehicle to infrastructure communication. Example map updates infotainment data in the downlink and collective traffic and sensor information for large scale traffic monitoring and the uplink. Directional V2Way communication for supporting partial use cases such as back to front bumper to bumper communication between subsequent vehicle in a platoon. So these are the role of millimeter waves in V2X. Now here the position estimation between vehicle is also, collect, uh, is also calculated using radio signals and millimeter communication and 5G signals will provide the most appropriate position of vehicles as compared to 4G LTE signal. So the reason is due to the higher signal bandwidth and the dense nature of the 5G network which naturally enables the light, line of sight with the high probability. The next IEEE 802.11p, here the radios implements the IEEE 802.11p protocol suit based upon the IEEE 02.11a uh, Wi-Fi standard. So here the US name it as WAVE and it's specified in the IEEE 1609 protocol set and Euro Europe name it as a ITSG5 and it is specified by I ETSI. So the, it resolves 75 MHz and 30 MHz of li licensed band respectively in the 5.9 GHz frequency ring. So the most prominent facility provided by IEEE 02.11p based V2X are cooperative awareness functionality. Example in Europe, it provides this service through cooperative awareness message that is CAM and event based emergency update for hazardous situations. For example, it, it provides this information through decentralization environmental notification message that is DINAM. So these are the features that are included in IEEE 802.11b used in 5G V2X. Next is vehicular visible light communication. So here VVLC technology will capable, capable of enabling elimination signaling communication and positioning in a signal communication system. So in this light emitting diodes in vehicle headlights and tail lights are used to transmit information and the photodiodes or cameras are used for receiving information. So it has characteristics such as precise outdoor and indoor positioning, full duplex communication and low cost of installation. So since the LED light cameras and photodiodes are becoming commonplace on vehicle the cost of adding VVLC capability to the cars is limited to inexpensive electric circuit circuitry that enables communication so here the main performance characteristics of VVLC communication it range slides at least 50 meter with low bit error rate and its bit rate is up to 2 megabits per second at 50 meters and 500 plus megabits per second at 5 meter. So here the VVLC offers directional communication with a high line of sight probability which will result in limited interference and a high reuse factor. So these are the various components that we are using in 5G V2X design of architecture design. So this is all about, uh, all about 5G V2X architecture. Thank you.